Sure, you could hold down the home button and wait for the recent app screen to come up, or you can take multitasking to a whole new level. And on the new Samsung Note devices, there are a couple pretty cool ways of doing so. Hey, it's Josh Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a Galaxy Note 3 multitasking feature focus also shown on the Note 10.1. <laughs> While anyone that has used a Samsung smartphone or tablet may be familiar with the multi-window function, it has been pretty greatly enhanced in these new iterations. A somewhat expanded list of applications is available for you to split the screen with, and as you saw in my Galaxy Note 3 review, its function is pretty undeniable as you can do a plethora of things at once. However, because the Galaxy Note 10.1 tablet is able to do everything the Galaxy Note 3 can, I decided to show you these features on it, simply because it provides a much larger canvas. So when it comes to multi-window, you have the basic split down the middle of two apps that can be dragged from the left side selector. This selector bar can be activated by holding the back button and can be hidden with a small tab sticking out for easy access. Pick your two apps and it will split the screen, but the actual split can be altered by dragging the little dot in the middle. Thus far, this is everything that we probably already knew multi-window could do. Tap that little blue dot in the middle, however, and you get four new functions that really open up your possibilities. The first one allows you to switch the app that is showing on one of the particular sides. Yes, you can further multitask within the two windows that you created for the multi-window. To add more apps, open up the selector on the left and you can drag any of the listed apps into one of the two portions you've created on the screen. What was replaced then will be stored for this switch application button. So, for example, you can keep one part of the screen static while continue to use another portion of the screen for all your multitasking. In my case, multi-window is a way for me to satisfy my YouTube viewing obsession while checking emails and browsing the web on the other side. The next option here is the ability to drag and drop content from one of the windows to the next. Off the bat, I should tell you that this does not work with everything that you would probably think. The rule of thumb that you can use, and incidentally for a number of other Samsung proprietary features, is to generally only utilize Samsung apps. Chrome, for one example, is tough to use when dragging information from one place to another. Taking this information from an email, however, did work just fine in the Samsung internet app. While this is a nice feature to have, it doesn't have too many functions outside of taking info from one window to search for in the other. Or perhaps you could copy your information from one chat window into the other so you don't have to type it again. But after that, that's pretty much it. And after that, of course, is the ability to switch the two windows, which is a simple but pretty obvious option that you have to include. And finally, with one of the two portions selected, you can close just that application by selecting the last option, Close Window. This one proved a little more useful than initially thought because hitting the home button or even the back button at the right moment could close both the applications that you've opened up in multi-window. So that's multi-window, which is a clearly powerful way of getting two and in some ways even more things done at once. However, with the enhanced S Pen, you got the air command menu that includes the pen window function. You can draw a rectangle of some sort on the screen and it will fill that area with one of a number of apps. Admittedly, in Pen Window, this is a small amount of available apps compared to the ones found in Multi Window. The window you create, however, can be used on top of a Multi Window setup, though three might not be a very optimal number for this particular kind of function, especially on the smaller screen of the Galaxy Note 3. The same goes for when you create multiple Pen Windows. While two is possible given the size of the screen, it is just downright tough to get anything done when things start to overlap. And so, there you have it. Multitasking on the Galaxy Note 3 and 10.1 tablet when using the recent app screen just isn't enough. One thing is definitely for certain after taking these devices to their perceived multitasking limits. 3GB of RAM is more than just an upgrade, and far from a gimmick. If you are a super power user who really needs to multitask this crazily, then the new Note devices can definitely be your best friends. Drop us a like on this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you want to see the other feature focus videos I've done on the Galaxy Note 3, they're right over there on the side in links. Keep it tuned to Android Authority because we're your source for all things Android.